A hundred points for anyone who can guess the next step. Poor plant was getting no sunlight. Who doesn't open the blind? I just built, ugh. Hello my lovelies and welcome back. Today I am back to tidying, back to cleaning, back with some weekend cleaning motivation for you all. I have not been feeling myself this week. I don't know what it is. People are saying it's to do with the moon. <laughs> I don't know, but I've just been feeling pretty rubbish and the house has taken a hit as a result. So today I'm starting to feel myself again. I'm just going to go around, not do anything too extreme, just basically get done what I can. I've got like two hours. We are in a state, so I'm just going to try and put things back where they go, like unpack pack the dishwasher, just like small bits to get the house starting to look presentable again. I've got my dad coming around tomorrow morning and we've got some people coming over on Sunday. So I need to make a start basically. I made a trip to Home Bargains after the gym today. Um, I only picked up a couple of things, but I thought I would just show you because as you know, I absolutely love showing you what I've picked up. Now, when I saw this, I instantly thought you're a fool if you buy this because this is just literally they've just made it for people like you just to go pick it up best believe i picked it up and i bought it because it is just me it says it's this beautiful glass floral um basically cleaning liquid bottle with a spray um at the top and it says the flora queen on it and they have made this for people like me to go and buy it and i bought it I absolutely love it. It's so cute. And it's glass, as I said, and it's like a spray bottle. Now, I don't have anything to put in here. I use my Sephora disinfectant sprays and they're already in a bottle. And when I use the concentrate, I don't tend to do the mix with water anymore because they brought out the um, surface cleaners. Like back, back, back in the day, Zeflora OG here, when they just had the concentrate, obviously you would mix with water and the spray. But you don't need to do that now. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really have a use for this, but just had to have it. I think it was only like two pounds something. Um, but yeah, I love it. It is actually really cute. But yeah, I knew I was falling for that one when I picked it up. Um, I also picked up, so I never usually suffer from like breakouts on my skin, but recently, honestly, I'm telling you, there's something going on. Recently, I've been getting like a few spots here and there, and then they've been like, when they've gone, they've left like a mark, which is really irritating. So I picked up some niacinamide, is it called? Um, as I know that it's supposed to like clear your skin after blemishes and help with like the dark spots. I just picked this up from Home Bargains. I've never tried it before. I don't know the make, um, but it says 90% agree that they get clearer skin after using it. Anyways, it was like two pounds something. So I'll give it a go. I don't know why it's in such a big bottle because it is just like a little mini thing with that a little mini serum so i'm gonna give that a go i'll let you know what i think of it and if i see any results because as i said it was very inexpensive i picked it up in home bargains today and then i just picked up two or three more things so i got this face eyes and lips makeup remover i just really love these dispensers you know where you push down I picked up an empty one of these from Primark a while ago and I've been pouring my micellar water in it. But again, this was very inexpensive and it said it had chamomile and hyaluron hyaluron hyaluronic acid um, in it, which my skin really enjoys. Um, so yeah, I picked this up. It's just like a makeup remover. I do like using these to remove eye makeup and any makeup just on top of my skin first. And then obviously I do go in with a deep oil cleanse and a water-based cleanser afterwards. I just like to start with this because I don't like rubbing the oil-based cleanser in all of the makeup. I like to take some off first, give it a, give it a little head start and then um, use the cleanser. So I got this. And then an old school favorite of mine, Pantene Keratin Re Reconstruction Mask for your hair. This stuff is so good if you, like myself, suffer with dry hair and breakage. Like say you're, you don't like cutting your hair, you don't want it to grow too, obviously you have to trim your hair, but I mean, you don't, you like having long hair and you want your hair to grow, is what I'm trying to say. 
it smells like secondary school to me because that's when i used it but it smells incredible i absolutely love the smell of this and i just use it as a hair mask i think that's what it is anyways the reason i'm saying i use it as a hair mask is with normal conditioner i do leave it in my hair um because my hair needs all the moisture it can get um but this is a great hair mask i leave it on overnight and then i wash it out in the morning and it really really used to be so good for my hair but as with anything when you use it use it use it use it use it it loses its effect you've got to give it a little break and come back to it a bit like perfume you know when you spray your perfume all the time if you are a creature of habit like myself you will have had the same perfume since you were about 12 years old yep that is me I can't smell it anymore, but I still get so many compliments. So every now and then I'll give it like a little break, put it back on so that I can enjoy it as well. They were all the interesting bits I picked up and then I just picked up some toothpaste because obviously you need toothpaste. But yeah, rambling over, I did that just as a little bit of like, I couldn't get straight into cleaning, I'll be honest. I can't even get into my work. I'm just feeling so deflated. But I am here to motivate you and i can't be lazing about and not doing what i'm telling you to do so we are going to start in the kitchen of course and just try and get this going if you like me are just really not feeling it at the moment feeling pretty lazy is not the word i'm not a lazy person i just feel ugh, and when i feel ugh, i don't want to do anything and then i just sit down but sitting down is the worst thing i can do because then i just stay in that state so I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking and just get on with it. And I hope that you can too. Join me if you're feeling like that and we'll get this done together. Let's go. So I was about to start and I quickly decided that silence was not going to get me through it today. So I have got out my headphones and I'm going to listen to probably music. Um, I was going to say a podcast, but I think music is needed today. Let's go. <laughs> look at that shine i am definitely feeling better for having got started so this is my cue to you just get started i'm well into it now and yeah the shine on the hob has just set me off So I've 
I've just realised that I filmed that whole 45 minutes without the microphone plugged in. So apologies if that sound, sound, the audio sounded horrific. We are now plugged in. Let's care, I told you, today is just not my day. I can't believe I did that. Right, I'm just gonna eat one of the kids' little chocolate eggs because I am doing anything to increase the serotonin right now. Not even that nice. Okay, so the kitchen is now looking lovely and clean, which makes me feel a lot happier. to the downstairs toilet now and I've got two as usual minkies to do this I always use one on the toilet and then put it in the wash and then I use the other one to clean the sink oh in home bargains today they had the cutest like um spring floral one and I just thought to myself <laughs> do not fall in the seasonal trap again I mean I am really a do what makes you happy kind of girl and a pretty minky not minky yeah, Minky does make me happy, so I should have bought it really. But you don't, you never, I never need more than two to four because they go on rotation in the wash. Um, so I left it sadly in home bargains, but if I do see it in there again, I will be picking it up. It was so cute. Um, so yeah, I've moved into the downstairs toilet now. I'm going to clean the sink and the toilet. Um, unfortunately, we've gone back to liquid hand soap as we've run out of all the soaps that we made ourselves. I think we will make some more because we were quite enjoying that and the boys find it more fun to wash their hands with like soaps that we've made ourselves it's very encouraging <laughs> for them to wash their hands with soap properly um but yeah enough rambling let's continue <laughs>
toilet is now lovely and fresh and clean. I've moved into the living room because as you know, we like to be cozy in this house and it is not giving cozy right now. So I'm just gonna put everything back where it should be, plump up the sofa, give the sofa a little freshen up, wipe down the table, and it will be ready for a nice Friday evening in the Barisha household. <laughs> it is so difficult not to sing these songs while I'm cleaning I just want to sing at the top of my lungs but obviously you guys don't want to hear that wondering what kind of vibe music I'm going for today let me tell you I am somebody that listens to literally like I'd say five different genres and they're all completely different like I like several types of music but it depends what mood I'm in to what I'm listening to so <laughs> just to give you an idea of the type of mood right now I've just paused it to speak because otherwise I would not hear myself speak I'm listening to Drake and Giggs KMT. <laughs> that is the kind of mood I'm in. Um, but like, I could really do like old school slow jams, R&B. I could do like some like light rock. I can do like really cheesy English music. I got I got a selection. But today we're listening to that kind. I'm gonna water this lovely plant. That well, that was lovely. But when we went away, my husband. <laughs> We worked out the problem. So he thought it was because he didn't water it. But I told him this plant doesn't need watering every day, let alone, like it doesn't even need watering every week. So it wasn't watering that was a problem. He wasn't opening the living room blinds. So the poor plant was getting no sunlight, like zero sunlight. Who doesn't open the blinds in the morning? Anyways, the poor plant is like weeping. And I mean, it. Uh, I didn't show you because obviously I wasn't here and he was trying to bring it back to life before he came home but he sent me a picture I can't tell you like literally all of it was just hanging down I mean he has killed a few of the leaves unfortunately but she's making a comeback like she's nearly standing like a lot of it is happier but we're still not there yet um so I am going to give her a water but I am just really sad about the um, condition of her because she was so beautiful for so long. Anyways, rant over. Let's give her a little water. And um, yeah, I open the blinds. <laughs> Okay, so order has now been restored in here also, ready for the boys to come home. I am convinced she is gonna make a full recovery. Right, let's take these out. Now, 
for somebody who really, and when I say really, like seriously did not want to tidy up today and just wanted to sit in the mess and just feel sorry for myself, I have achieved a lot and I feel so good for it. So I hope if you were feeling the same, you just got up, joint, I'm oh, still playing the music. You got up and joined me um, because I can't tell you how much better I feel for it, how clearer my head is and how now I'm excited to go and pick up the boys from school um, ready for the weekend. I mean upstairs is not as tidy now and clean as down here but it's not awful. I do have a mountain of washing, clean washing on the stairs, clean clothes that need to be folded up and put away. I think I'll do that once they've gone to sleep and then on Saturday morning, the whole house will feel nice. Um, but until then, we'll stay downstairs. <laughs> but no, honestly, I feel so good now. I hope you all have an amazing start to your week and I will see you all in the week. Bye.